Yo guys, it's your boy Shamsus here for another video. Today's video, lads, boys, we've got another rendition of the best players under a certain, you know, budget. Today we've got 400k again because the last time I did this video was about a month and a half ago. It was, it was like the middle of February, like the 13th of Feb, I think it was. A lot has changed since then. A lot, a lot, a lot has changed since then. Um, there's been multiple market crashes and there are there's been multiple promos with new players in who just fit in So I thought I'd just revisit it and it did really really well. So we're gonna get some views um, But yeah boys if you like the video, please drop a like if you're new to the channel, please subscribe turn the notey bell on um, I just said notey Notification bell just turn it on boys. You never miss a video. We will load daily FIFA content boys squad builders Packs, um, what else do we do? Um, rage highlights, champs highlights, we do it all, we do player reviews sometimes. So we do it all boys, but if you like the content, please, please feel free to subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash xjamsterzx, the same as my YouTube. Coincidentally, the same as my Twitter. Give it a follow boys, you know. Um, it's a bit touch and go for tonight, if we're live tonight. Um, but normally we're live most days around 6pm. Or, or content time uh, That's 6pm UK time But yeah, let's just get into the video Starting goal, we've gone for Nick Pope Right, to be honest Every keeper, apart from like The, the icons are under 100k So Even like Oblak and stuff They're like under 100k now So, um Any keeper really My favourite keeper, I love this normal Nick Pope I know a lot of people like the informed Pope But I like the, you know, just the normal, basic, standard Nick Pope. He just makes some world-class, tremendous saves for me. I just, I think he, I think he's fantastic. Especially because he's only a couple K as well. I, I think he's a mainstay in a lot of people seems. A lot of people use him, you know. A lot of people absolutely adore him, but then there are some people that don't like him. Um, to be honest, keep a spot, it's, it's up to you. So, right back. We've gone for Inform James Tavernier. This is the second Inform, boys. Um, obviously, he's got a headliners, which is 87, I believe it is. Um, but obviously, that was an SBC, so you can't physically go and buy it off the market now. So we've gone for the, the second Inform, which is 50, 50k, I think it was. Fantastic value, a fantastic card as well. The only problem with is so, so hard to link with, but hopefully... There might be an end of era Scott Brown you could link him with too. So, maybe. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, 5 foot 11. Only 3 star, 3 star, which isn't great. But, the man's one of the most... Mo bleh, the man is one of the most well-rounded cards on the game. Very, very easily. His headliners is absolutely insane. He can play this guy centre back, right back, centre mid, cam. Probably play him up front, why not? But he's got 92 pace, so he's rapid, boys. His shooting is tremendous. He is your this guy is your penalty taker. He's got 99 on his headliners, but he's got 95 pens on this one. Um 85 shot power, 83 long shots as well. 73 finishing is very good. 89 crossing, 91 curve, 84 short pass, 85 free kick accuracy. The list goes on, boys. Then you look at the balance uh, agility and balance, 87 and 86, which is really, really nice. Poor poor reactions of 76, but. Decent enough composure, 81, 85, and 84 dribbling and ball control, which is nice. Defending is a little bit lackluster, you know, that you know you can get a little bit better than what there is. Uh, standout, 83 uh, stand tackle, which is really, really good. 81 slide tackles, okay. Only 78 interceptions and 72 defensive awareness. That's why I'd be, you know, tempted to put a shadow on or something that increases that defending a lot. Um, and the physicals, he's got a tremendous physical, 79 jumping, combine that with his 5 foot 11, he'll win all the headers against all the wingers. Um, 97 stamina is really nice, 88 strength is good. Only 75 aggression, would like that to be a little bit higher again, but it doesn't really matter. <coughs> the best centre back is Varane. Yes, I'm very sorry boys. 6 foot 3. You know Varane, you've probably used Varane or got Varane. He's insane. You know, he's got the pace, the height, the extending of limbs. He's got the extension of limbs trait where his legs just seem to just gangle and just push, push out. Um, but yeah, he's a really, really good card. He's like 50k, I believe now. Uh, 82 pace. His defending is phenomenal. 
genuinely phenomenal. 87 stand tackle, 87 interceptions, 89 defensive awareness. He's also got 86 strength, 81 jumping. He's six foot three as well with 82 pace. He is a fantastic player in game. And he's pretty much a must pick um, at this point, unless you've got like super, super sweaty icons there, you know? Uh, next to him, we've actually gone for a what if Marcelo. Actually, it's a what if plus because he got upgraded. Six foot three. He looks fantastic. Genuinely, he looks sensational. You know, he's six foot three with 96 jumping. Yo, know, Van Dyke, even Van Dyke won't beat him in the air. That's when you know. Um, 77 pace is not fantastic, but you whack a shadow on him, yeah? And he, oh, he's got 97 shot power. So why not just take it? Um, 91 long pass, 86 short pass is tremendous. He's not got bad dribbling stats to say, you know. 70 agility and 66 balance is not not awful for a centre back either. Um, good composure, good reactions, good ball control. Dribbling at 72 is not great. 99 heading accuracy, 96 stand tackle, 85 slide tackle, 91 interceptions, 99 strength, 96 aggression, 96 jumping, 85 stamp. Wow. He is a... a oh, he's great, boys. He is so great. Uh, just get him in the team if you can fit him in. Links to Neymar. Links to Marquinhos. Uh, foot freeze if you did that. So, got some good links as well. At left back, we've gone for Purvis. Estupin. Um, five foot nine. He's a little bit of a midge modge. But, he, oh, he's got a fantastic... He's, he's only three-star three-star as well, by the way. Which isn't great. But, he's got fantastic stats all around. 92 pace. 89 crossing, 89 short pass, you know. Then you look at the dribbling stats, 89 agility, 84 balance is really, really nice. 85 ball control, really, really good on the on the uh, the old sticks. Uh, you'll be able to left stick dribble with him very easily. Defending stats, oh, 90 stand tackle, 90 slide tackle is phenomenal. 84 heading accuracy is brilliant as well. Only 77 interceptions, not fantastic, I will admit. Um, and then his physicals are superb, you know, 88 stamp, so he can get up and down the pitch easily, 84 strength, he'll bully off every fullback, and 83 aggression, he's, you know, he's an aggressive little boy, is our Purvis, Purvis, Purvin, Purvis, uh, 72 jumping as well, which is not awful, just, you know, he might lose some headers, so I wouldn't recommend trying him at centre-back either, boys, so at the right mid, we've got one man, um, yeah, we've gone for one, man. I actually, luckily enough, got this guy in a 75-plus pack. Um, fantastic. I actually use this guy in my weekend league team. He's crazy, boys. Five-star skills, five-star weak foot. I know it says two-star on the screen, yeah, but trust me, it's a five-star. Uh, 98 pace feels really, really quick. 90 finishing is great. Shot power, attack positioning, finishing. Oh, to die for. 95 penalties. I didn't even notice that. Tav takes my penalties, so... 99 agility, only 81 balance, uh, so that's why I'd recommend putting like a finisher or a, a marksman or something like that. Um, he's got 92 dribbling. Composure and reactions aren't the best, but boys, this guy is so cracked, genuinely so cracked. And at 70k, you know, you can't really go wrong. Uh, 77 jumping, 90 heading accuracy is decent, 83 stamina, 83 strength. It's just a bit of a beast. If I'm going to be completely real, it's just a bit of a beast, so I'd just recommend getting him in if you can. Um, next to him... We've gone for the first inform, Alejandro Gomez. When I say the market's crashed, boys, the market has crashed a lot. Um, we'll, we'll ignore that. Uh, five foot six. He's very, very. This guy's like the more attacking centre mid, you know. By the way, we are doing this in a four-four-two formation. Um, so yeah, for the more attacking centre mid, we've gone for Ma Mario Gomez, Alejandro Gomez. Ninety-one pace. He feels electric. Four-star, four-star, five-six. 94, 95 agility and balance is fantastic. Combine that with a 5 foot 6 body. You don't even need to do anything. He will dribble and go around players for you. That, that's how good he is. 82 finishing is really nice. 77 shot power is not fantastic. That's why I'd recommend whacking like a hunter on or something. Um, 84 attack position is really good. 84 long shots, nice. 87 short pass is really, really good. 88 vision as well. Dribbling stats are absolutely to die for. The stamina is a little low at 75. That's why you got subs, you know. Um, and yeah, Alejandro Gomez, a worthy winner of the attacking centre miss by. He's phenomenal. Uh, next to him, as you previously saw, we've gone for first in form Leon Goretzka, boys. You know, he's, he's dropped, you know. He's, he's just under 100k now. Six foot two, high medium. If he has four star, four star, he's, he's like an extra 100k. Um, you know how it is, but he's not, unfortunately. 
But he's got he's just a very solid defensive midfielder, any boys, let's be honest, you know. Um he's got really good pace, shooting, pass he, he can he, I don't know what to say to be honest. Basically, he's quick. He's got decent enough stamina, 85, good strength for 85, 83 aggression, um, 81 finishing as well, 81 shot power. He's just a bit of an all-rounder. 87 short pass is really nice and really good defensive stats as well. He's, he's really, really good, boys. Get him in the team if you can. Um, obviously, you won't be able to get all these players in the team because the team has like 45 chemistry, you know. that It's really hard to link them all. But it... Again, boys, well worthy pickup. For the left mid, Mane is 100k. What? Mane is 100k. 5 foot 9, 4 star, 4 star, 94 pace. He is electric in game. 90 finishing, 92 attack position, 84 shot power is really, really nice. 85 short pass, 85 vision as well. 93 agility, 86 balance. And the guy just dribbles. The guy is the. Oh, he's so good at dribbling, boys. Left sticks. Or if you're doing that contextual, agile dribbling bollocks, he's so, so good. 88 stamina, 86 jumping is really nice as well. He does win his fair share of the headers. He's just a really, really good solid winger. He, he feels rather strong. He's only got 70 strength, but he does feel rather strong in game as well. Sadio Mane. It's the best player under 100k. Heard it here first. Uh, first striker, we've gone for Big John David. 5 foot 10, this is a future star. Only three-star skill moves, but five-star weak foot. He's very, very meta, boys. If he had four-star, I'd be an extra 100k, you know. 94 pace, phenomenal. 92 finishing, 85 shot power, 85 attack position. It is lovely. Then you see the 86 and 83 uh, short pass and long pass, which is really, really nice. 88 agility, 83 balance. And the, he, he would be so good on the ball. 94 composure. This guy is an absolute clinical machine in front of goal. 95 jumping. He's 5 foot 10 as well, which is a really nice high. 89 heading accuracy, 94 stamp, 83 strength. A phenomenal card. But I don't think he's as good as this next card. Who I think is the most underrated player in the game. What if Yukul Jovic, who's been upgraded? Wow. This guy's just under 100k. He's 6 foot. He's a little bit big. But 4 star, 5 star. 88 pace, whack a hunter on him, boys. Genuinely, you'll get one of the best cards in the game. 94 finishing, 91 shot power, 91 attack positioning. Wow, 85 short pass. And then you look at the dribbling stats, 86 agility, 87 balance, 90 dribbling, 91 ball control, 90 reactions, 84 jumping, 85 stamina, 89 strength, and 98 heading accuracy. This guy is crazy in game, boys, and I recommend you do it. Well then, boys. There it is. There's the squad. Um, only 35 chemistry, so it's a little bit muddled. How are you going to get chem? But they are all the best players under 100k in each position, in my opinion. If you liked it, like it. If you're new to the channel and all that good stuff, subscribe. And I might see you on Twitch. We don't know yet. Peace.